was a child star, be top bridges. Six kids with five bitches, drug binges, smoking like front engines, dried out from blood suckers who love us. If this wrong, we all suffer. She got jokes with the brains is fire. She a ball buster, unemployed fucking D. I call hustlers, had me on my feet like crutches do. Good looking, my nigga, I fuck with you. He like heartbreak. I just want to see you comfortable. Put you on the right track. A lot of that you don't run into. That's why I put my heart in every line that I wrote. Thanksgiving time, every time that I flow. We vibe and she on the seven train dropping the boat. Every dollar don't go. A lot of food gave me blood time in the show. <laughs> my friend's killers been rhyming with goats. She's so thick I brought her through. They thought she was climbing a pole. This pain got a mind of his home. Can't find love until you find it at home. Try to tell these niggas something, never answer the phone. Some days you staring at that man in the mirror and you dancing alone. I got my cup in my two-step, I'm jamming the stone. No raps lying about hands on the throne. But I still had to use my hands when it's time to handle my own, motherfucker. Now, man, it's not like... It's well, not good, like, man. Long time no see. It's good, bro. I'm chilling, man. How's everything? I've been holding money, man. Shit. This is the first official. This is the first official one. But, you know, we did the... What you, you were. You, the pilot. I'm like taking you the pilot. pilot. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I'm the pilot of facts. Man, much appreciated, man. Thanks for coming back. Yeah, man. I love it, man. I love what you've been doing with the show. Shout out to all the artists on here. Like you're doing your thing. You know what I'm saying? So it's love. It's only an honest only right. You know what I mean? Much appreciated. Much appreciated. What you what you been up to though, man? I saw you dropped the project a couple months ago. Yeah, I just dropped 87 baby. So 87 baby, that's out on all the platforms. Well, the story, backstory with that was really, with that project, I, I had just did this freestyle that was called August 28th, and it was on, um, so the whole, the whole shit is a Vapor Wave style project. So, I was on there, I had one song, I had, I loved it, I was just loving it, it was called All Me, it was called 87 Baby originally, and I was in the studio, and I was like, yo, it'd, it'd be hard if I did like a remake of Bad, like, like for this, cause like, it gave me that vibe, it felt like 87. I holler at my man Vinny, shout out my man Vinny. And uh, he brought me and he sent me the awkward back. Once he sent me the awkward, it was so well, hard. Awkward, awkward is hard, yeah. I was like, nah, I can't do this. I can't just. Artists are going, you can't waste. There's artwork you can use for a single, and then there's artwork that is like, nah, this gotta be a body of work behind it. So that was pretty much what it was. I was like, yo. Was that your idea, or you took it upon yourself? So? He, I had the idea of, like, I was like, yo, I wanted to take it away. I was like, damn, hey, what? I was like, this is called 87, baby. I was like, all right, man, let me, let me figure out what I was dropping that year when I was thinking back. And that was the first thing that popped in my head when I was looking. So I love Mike as a little bit. I always love Mike. So his birthday's actually today. It's so the day after mom. You know what I'm saying? So it's always that. Happy belated. Thank you, thank you, bro. So I always felt like a connection with Mike. So I was like, yo, I got to do the mic. So I was like, yo, it'd be crazy if I flip it. You know what I'm saying? I didn't want to wear the crazy jacket like Mike. I could put it on. I was like, yo, maybe you do a mob version. And I sent it to Vinny. He had the idea when he sent it back. I was like, nah, I got to do like three, four, five. So I just started working. It was funny because I was right over there. I was park, I was going from work. I was park right in there in that parking lot. Played them beats like it was all baby wave style. And it was just a cohesive project. You did all your beats on this project. I, I took them all. 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 Hey, I ain't selling it, so y'all can't get me, you know what I mean? But yeah, I took that one from YouTube. But it was from Japanese artists. I couldn't even like type in the name in most cases. Some of these beats, I couldn't even type the name in because I don't know if Japanese people are loud, but I'm like, damn sure I don't know how to write it, you know what I mean? So, you know, we, we got to do God bless, you know. We have to edit that part, you know what I mean? We figured it out, though. But, you know. Yeah, so 87 Baby is just a body of work that came to be. It became a passion project. It was actually the first project, that, it was all me. I didn't have a producer that I worked with. It wasn't like, I didn't have nobody like, it wasn't just no other outside forces of like, you know what I'm saying? Because sometimes when you're making a project, you're around different things. Maybe not like, somebody will be like the engineers helping you, give you ideas, give you things, you know, you bounce it out. This was one thing I was just all me. So 87 days, you did 87 days, that's all me. Straight, straight, it's from Beginning to end, it was a lot of happy accidents that happened. So it was just a process. How's it doing? 
It's good. It's good. I'm getting a lot of feedback. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of feedback. I still think, like, because of the climate and the way music comes out, it's just, I got people that still, I got people that still tell me they listening to Sour Diesel. That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's a real thing. I dropped Sour Diesel with that. You started years. shooting videos for it? I'm about to start to shoot videos for the inside. Okay. That's what I'm going to start doing. That's why I had to really down to really white. I was trying to do it, but the video should come up. But I'm about to start shooting videos for 87 days and definitely let it get. It's like, I think a lot of people still haven't heard it yet. They get to it because I, people coming into it. Like it's, I've been getting views coming in, coming in. Like, I dropped it like in July. Somebody just told me like, Niggas moving wicked, had to switch ways. Shit had me paranoid, keep the switch blade. Niggas be ops when they was mans in the fifth grade. Shit crazy, seen it develop in some sick ways. I'm connected, you know what I'm saying? I fucking, I, I'm still, I still feel the, the joint you did, the sister joint, man. Like, yeah. you need to let me shoot the video for that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we did on the, the yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. See, they don't even know we got, see, y'all don't even know we and got, we got, yeah. we got, we got our own little secret projects in the works that we we got shit left on the table. That's that's what I'm trying to explain. That was a crazy because fucking with you, and then I dropped sound with Diesel. Then I did from the soul project. Then I did from the soul you again. Don't stop, man. You just keep going. I got so much shit, bro. And so much. Shit. I was just playing the songs we was doing. I'm like, this shit with me. You know, we were talking about that one the other day, man. It, it, it's hard. It's hard. It's hard. You know what I'm saying? So we'll see where they end up or not. But I definitely want to um, definitely do the sister joint for that. I never really had a record where I talked about my sister pregnant. That, that, that was that was a hard no, record, right? yeah. Yeah. yeah, definitely. It's like little shit I touched on, like I touched on shit in certain songs. Like, that was the actual song that I, you know. But once we get it through the proper channels, we work it. We gonna probably put it out. You know what I'm saying? For sure. So much been happening, like since the last time I seen you. Like, what's what's what what what's up with the whole be easy and. That was surprising. Like when I heard that, I was like, "What the, what the fuck?" Rest in peace, my nigga Trent. First and foremost, rest in peace, my nigga Trent. Uh, we lost Trent, man, and um, I'm blessed though, cause it was crazy. So Be Easy moved, moved to um Charlotte. First of all, rest in peace. Shout out Be Easy. Rest in peace, Be Easy pops. He just lost. He, Be Easy lost Trent and his pops the same week. So it's just like I can't say nothing else. That's yeah. And um, Trent was an artist that meant a lot to be easy, meant a lot to us. He was a dude that, as soon as I seen him, wore up energy. You know what I'm saying? Now, this is a nigga with bars. Now, let me tell you about it, like, for the people that's listening at home. When you fit niggas with bars, it's a little different. You feel what I'm saying? Because when you got other rappers with bars, it's always that energy. It's always that competitive. Niggas met us on top, was trying to put us together on some. Oh, 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 my man here, my man got, you know how that go, you know what I'm saying? So, as an artist, you always got to be like, because there's some niggas that don't buy into that shit, and then there's some niggas that be like, yeah, I got balls, nigga, like, and then you got it like, right, nah, now I got to do reserve around you, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not like that, bro, it's like, everybody got balls, everybody been doing it, everybody, you know what I'm saying? Do you, I'm going to do me, and that's the thing, with Trent, it was always love, always gave me my flowers, always seen me, always was like, yo, God, I did this, yo. You put me on like he was telling me last time I seen him. Now, this is why he's a uh, fucking legend. Nigga had a heart attack, right? He was in the hospital. And this was the last week he was here. And I swear to God, this is a true fucking story. Nigga got out, woke up, took this shit off, right? Came to Beans because he wanted to finish his album, Power of Music. Came in. I was actually supposed to do one last record. With this. The last record we did on the outside of the world on the Red Sample. That was the that wasn't even gonna be the last record I did with BBC. I was gonna do another one that day, but then Trent came and I seen him, I was like so it was so shocking to see him like oh, this nigga said, yeah, I just came out of heart attack and chill it, burn it, blood, so keep it rapping, he's sitting there, he chopping it up, he mixed his album, he picked the track list, and he was like, yo, you the reason I'm in the track list and doing all that. He's like, I watch you do it with your profit. And like a lot of niggas won't even tell a nigga like that. He ain't have to tell me that, but it was just real genuine conversation. Two days of a heart attack, being in a coma from a heart attack, waking up, come finish this project. So y'all go to Trek 316, return to the Capricorn. Yo, 
the church of go call itself, go get that project. That shit is a real, that shit is different. That nigga really came back to life to finish that project, bro. Like, real shit. Like, it's never out of right? It's out. Yeah, it's out. It's out. You put it out. That's the crazy shit. You gotta put it out. That was the beauty of it. I seen him, I hugged him, I was like, I had chills. It was just, I felt it. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, he was a beautiful spirit, young father, great father. Every time I seen him, always talk about his kids. You know, that was my dog, man. He, and he loved wrestling. His name was Trek 316. I love wrestling. So we always, he always talked his shit. His favorite rapper was Big L, Big L, my favorite. So we were kindred spirits, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, when music we can have brothers and shit, be real. It's like, we may not even have to make it all life for it. Music, this shit is so deep. It's a kingdom spirit. That's a wall from the top of that. You know what I'm saying? That's a piece of my cousin's house. 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 Never bite the hand that feeds you nope. And never turn your back on the people that need you that ass, huh. Two rooms that I live by yep. Bars hot like the oil at a fish fry He's still real as a tribe, you know, you know that Still real as a Tasha, you know, so it, It's just fucked up, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I'm playing the shit and I'm keeping the music and I'm doing this and that You know, I put it in I get, I get survivors for more because it's like, damn, they should be here. You know what I'm saying? Like, trap should be here. Trap should be here. Trap for should sure, be here. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm going to keep it up. That's like part of the reason why I do this. Like, because I feel like I should have been on trap more, pushing him and, you know, trying to help him out. And the odd thing is, like, you know, I'm here doing this and this motherfucker's pushing me, trying to help me out. And the sick shit, the sick shit, the sick shit, trap is back on the shit. Trap is back on the shit. And the content he was coming with, he was getting more personal. Like the last joint he sent me was like some personal, like knives on surviving the times box. Like you talking about him fresh shit. Like he, he he was getting into that bag that I always was like, yo, open that yeah, bag up. That's what I was telling. So always tell him, open and that you know, bag up. I think when I told him that, he kind of took offense to it. Like I wasn't trying to tell him that his shit wasn't dope. I was just like, yo, just dig a little deeper. He was dope. He was, he was dope, he was for dope. sure. But I was like, yo. And he was giving niggas his real life, so I can understand him being offended and taking a in, in, in a sense, yes. He was giving yes. niggas his real life, but he ain't really giving niggas his real, 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 real right. life. That if he would have gave niggas. That's what I mean. But that, you know, that also come from the club. At least I never really had that conversation with him, but I know for me, it's certain shit I'm even holding back because I'm like, yo, once I get that proper stage, we're going to get into those stories. You know what I'm saying? Like, so maybe that could be what it is. I try to think as an artist and shit like that, but the shit I heard, he was tapping into. Shout out my nigga Drum Food, we make that beat. And the type of, when you making music with Drum Food, you gotta tap in. That's a fact. You gotta, you gotta tap in the group. So wow. when Drum is on the beat, you gotta tap in. So I already know what's going to get crazy. You know what I'm saying? So that's the shit that hurt. I wonder how much music he got done already. Like. Think his family would be willing to try and work something else or put it out or try and do something with it? We spoke, we spoke we to them already. We worked. Okay. We worked. It actually is a lot. It's a lot of shit for us. Most shit. You bringing that part up, we ain't gonna get into yes. that. I'm not my place to speak. Yeah. I'm an announcement to make, but we work. Well, we work well, whatever, right. whatever you got going on with that, if I can help, anyhow. Yeah, yeah, we want to do a documentary, that's a more business. And the way we working to get that, and every, it, it's a lot of parties, and even every party is moving smooth, so. It's, that's that's another that thing. Like, how do you think his family would receive the idea of the documentary? They would love it. They I would? Talk, I talked to his, I talk you to talk his, to his mom, sister, his mom, his mom, his dad, every holiday. Truthfully, I'm always nervous when I'm about to go. I remember, I remember it got so real. One holiday I was dead, so I, I was late to my phone. They called me like, yo, where you at? Oh, I'm like, I'm not that mom, I'm not that mom. They were looking for me. I'm like, shit, I'm looking for y'all. Like, that's love, man. They know, they know I love that boy. They know that I'm my brother for real. They see me, told see me, you know. That's like seeing Don G and seeing like everybody. You know what I'm like? Shout my nigga Gutta Beats, yo, cause we got some shit coming. We working, we working. Shout out to G Code, shout out to A Money. 
and your lovely wife, the girl can get shit going, child the birds, you feel what I'm saying? I mean, I mean, bro, I like the rollout, man. You did my favorite for the rollout. I like that. Bro. Uh, she was like, bro, tell her my job. Tell her we're going. You guys were like, that was a classic. That really was a classic. Um, oh, he, there was definitely yeah. some jewels. God gave me intuition So I can feel it when I'm on a mission I went against it and went straight to prison You live then you learn the curve different The streets is unforgiving Gotta drop that wisdom for the children Say what you mean, always mean what you say Make sure that's what you want Cause it's a happy price to pay You know, me and him, we got some shit working We doing some shit outside of that And we get on the acting shit too So be on the lookout for that I just seen my um, face on the movie screen for a trailer, because we're working on a series, I can't say the name right now. Okay. But the director had shot his own short feature film, which I can't speak about. Shout out to my daddy, shout out to Tane Clay, the whole movement. Phone Jones, go check that shit out. Um, he did a private screen, so the project we're working on, they did a trailer, did a private screen in the theater, and the trailer for that, which I'm in the trailer, I seen it on the screen before the movie starts. So I'm, that turned me the fuck out. I was, that shit turned me out. I was like, I kind of, it was kind of like that scene, like it paid in full with like Ace and Ellie watching Scarface and that shit. Like that's what turned me out. Like I'm like, I gotta get it. So now I got my hands on everything. I'm about to bring the podcast back. I'm working on that. Shit. What's up with that? You stopped doing it for a while? Yeah, I had to stop doing it because just, it was a good, like, content was good, but. What was the name of it again? Don't try to say home radio. That was the wrestling podcast. But we rebranded it. Um, it's going to be called Making for the House. Um, we're going to do a lot of good things. You know what I'm saying? That's going to be dropping soon. And I think this is going to be just more of a mature, more polished. Just doing everything right. Everything that I'm trying to do going forward is just doing it right. You know what I'm saying? Because as an artist, I'm always historically just rushed to do shit because I just want to get shit out. I just want to get shit. You know, I, I think I'm that way too. I, I jump into something like fuck it, I do it on the fly, but that's not always the way to do it, you know, and I'm learning. But it's not the way to do it, but I'm happy because God forbid I got this guy, I got shit out, you know what I'm saying? It's it's just stuff there, you know what I'm saying? That I mean, it's just like you know, I know niggas that it's just like I get it though. I do get it, I do get it. You know, so I wanna work on that. I'll say that to say I wanna work on just Put your shit out more, you know, more technical, more, you know, more clean, you know what I'm saying, instead of just dropping it. Because that's how they get lost in the source, too. I'm just in a space now where it's like, I, I got I'm trying to, I got to find a lane here, something, something got to give, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like, this shit is too good, it's too, it's too much talent, you know what I'm saying? So, if not, I'm a, one thing is, I'm fine, I'm a fine the door, I'm going to do that, leave that shit over. And when you start turning them knobs, motherfuckers gonna be mad at you. You're gonna be like, damn, this nigga turning every door knob possible. But hell. Listen, I, I, I gotta find the door. I, I used to be on some, oh, this is gonna be the door, the rack door. Now nah, I'm leaving my shit open. It could be potting pops or doing a movie, or doing a series, or whatever. Whatever it is, because one thing it is, I'm here to entertain the people, the people fuck with me. I fuck with the people. I like to make people laugh. I like to bring good energy. You know what I'm saying? I'm never with a nigga like, some niggas is too cool, niggas is too gangster. I'm gonna be the too chill. Like, I'm just chill. Like, it's good energy. Too much good energy. You can never go wrong with too much good energy. You can go wrong being too cool. You can go wrong with being too gangster. You can never go wrong just being too much of good energy. You know what I'm saying? So, that's what I'm gonna bring. Oh, no. Niggas find, find something to say about everything. I mean, it is avoidable. That's why I'm gonna. At this point, it's like, one thing I've realized too, especially real shit. You nice that song, it's gonna always be some shit. And that's something I just had to come with. And it's gonna take it's gonna take shapes and forms in different ways, different manners. And you just you gonna be shocked sometimes, but it is what it is. If you're nice at something, it's gonna come with some shit. But all you can do is just worry about what you do, bring that good energy, stay out the fucking way, because it's crazy out. Stay out the way. That's it. Moving through the game, niggas trying to move like a nuisance. Niggas losing. Shit is obtruse in the game. They not you. Them niggas, they not loose. And them niggas, they not true. They can't fuck with you. I'm in the game wicked. Spitting shit that's so sick that many niggas lift it. I'm in a different bag. Get it back. Them niggas trying to get it flows and get it cat and get it jack. This shit is whack. 
niggas slip, them niggas crack, can't fold. Niggas know the game is untold, floor fitting like that Thor, like Tony Khan. I'm getting bomb, I'm dropping off, niggas they calm. Niggas spitting that shit, I might kick it with your mom, give a dick in the lawn. Niggas spitting all that flow, they niggas thinking they mom. Nah, them niggas is trash, you kick them all in their ass. They talking about that shit, I know I pull the raps that I crap from the top of the dome and start making sense like a nigga doing some mad. Wait, we talking top down. Make them dots holler, get this shit locked down, niggas got collars. Now we in the polos, niggas got collars. <laughs> All break Julio, man. Yo, man. Appreciate your Yo, time, brother. Appreciate you, bro, man. Holla at me, man. Yo, shout out to everybody in the building. Dude.